All right, I haven't done a, a ham radio video in a while, and this was inspired by Alan uh, W two A W uh, A E W, and uh, he did a video on putting a crystal filter into a CW crystal filter into a into a radio. I've done similar videos. I think I've put CW filters in and maybe a SSB filter or something. Anyway, I've done the same videos, but he did a twist which was using a spectrum analyzer to measure the filter. Now, I've done the same thing, but I used a tracking generator and I swept the filter out and I measured it and everything, but he measured the response to the filter once it got in the radio, which seemed to be impossible. But he's got this really cool trick. This is a really good idea. Um, so what he did was he just listened to the static. Okay, so there's static. Static on the radio, right? And so let's, Let's take that static and off the head headphone jack here, and let's take it into a uh, let's take it into a uh, oscilloscope. So there we go. There's the static, right? It's completely random, just just staticy, staticy, right? So um, the static is basically all frequencies, low frequencies, high frequencies, all kind of. It's just noise, right? You've seen these sweep filters before. If you don't have a tracking generator you can use a noise source and run that into a spectrum analyzer. And you can sweep a filter by using a noise source. Uh, like I said, I've, I've, I've done those videos before. Um, well, guess what? We have a noise source. It's noise. We Radios have noise, right? So the input of the radio already causes a wide band noise source. And it has to go through that filter and it has to come out somewhere. And guess what? It comes out the phono jack. <laughs> Here it is, right? There's the noise. So all we have to do is run that into a spectrum analyzer. Well, I've got a spectrum analyzer. It's this thing. Uh, so we just need to set it up. We need to do a math function and we need to choose a FFT. That'll change it into a spectrum analyzer. We can turn that on. We can say we want to start at zero hertz and want to end at 10 kilohertz. We're going to look at the uh, audio frequency, right? So we'll go here to uh, 10 kilohertz, right? And then let's turn off the uh, channel one here. So this is our um, frequency response of the noise. Okay, let's make it let's make it a little bit bigger to make it easier to see. Um, let's see here. All right. And then I'll just go over, I'll adjust the volume on, <laughs> on the radio and that will put, there we go. Now it's the right, now it's a good size. Okay. All right. So, um, so this is zero to 10, uh, kilohertz. And so right now the radio is sort of receiving and it's, and it's, it's noise is between zero and one, two, three kilohertz, right? That's the width of the filter that's in the radio right now. Okay. And so if I uh, change the filter, okay, so right now um, we have a three kilohertz filter, one, two, three, all right, and I'm going to change that to a 2.4 kilohertz filter, and there it goes, one, two, and a little bit, right, 2.4. So, so what am I doing? I'm, uh, I'm just changing the filter, right? The uh, uh, each each on a on a ICOM 7300, you, you, there's there's different filters involved, right? So filter one, filter two, and then filter f three is very narrow. It's 1.8, and there you go. You know, it's it it's very very narrow. Okay, so those are your single sidebound filters. Now there's lots of adjustable things. So ICOM 7300s are very very confusing when you first get them because there's these two knobs that do that do filter stuff. Maybe I can show this, show these both at the same time. Yeah, I can. Let me just show these both at the same time. I think that'll work out better. All right. So this is knob over here, and I can change the shape of that filter. See how I'm, I'm moving, moving the edge, and I'm pushing it, pushing it that way, and making it narrower. Okay. I can zero it, or I can push the other part of it, and I can, and I can shove it that way. Right. And so you get to see the filter in real time on the scope, whereas it just kind of gives you a little, a little cartoon, a little cartoon on the radio, but it, it matches what we, what we see over here. So, so that's really cool. Let's set it down to zero again. 
All right, so let's look at CW. Okay, we'll go, to, we'll go into CW mode. And right now, uh, you can see that it's very, very narrow. And it's going to be centered, you know, somewhere around 700 hertz or something, right? And uh, that's the uh, 1.2 filter. This is the 500 filter. Oh, look at that. Very, very narrow, right? Really, really nice. Let me, let me turn down the amplitude here a little bit. There we go. Really, really narrow. Okay. And then we can go to filter three, which is uh, 250. There you go. 250. Really, really nice. This is a great way to look at filters. Oh my goodness. Now we should be able to do um, uh, IF shift and stuff. I mean, yeah, I mean, uh, there's all kinds of stuff you can do here now. <laughs> um, so if we go into the go into the filter, we can even make it narrower. Okay, I'm going to push these two. I'm going to push one filter to one side, one filter to the other side, and I'm making that thing as narrow as it can be, and it's almost disappeared now, but we're kind of in the wrong, uh, the wrong section here. Now, I forgot how to do IF shift on this thing. Where is my IF shift? I don't know. <laughs> I guess we can just push them both. Yeah, we can just push them both to one side. We can do the IF shift by just pushing them both to one side, and it'll, they'll, both, they'll both move over. All right, so I've shifted the one as much as it'll go, and then I can switch, I can s make the other one really, really narrow. Make it even narrower. Does that make sense? You can see the little thing over there, right? Yeah, so yeah, so there you go. Um, very cool, we can go to AM, which would be the broadest. Uh, let's see here, AM filter one is nine, nine kilohertz, uh, supposedly. And it looks like it's about five. So nine, nine must be maybe plus and minus or something. I don't know where the nine, nine kilohertz comes in because this is 10, 10 kilohertz, uh, oops, 10 kilohertz all the way over here. So we're only getting about half of it on the screen. So I'm not quite sure about the AM filter. Um, here's a six kilohertz filter. Didn't really change much. And here's a three kilohertz filter. And it's kind of it's kind of weird. So it doesn't really demo very well in the uh, in the AM, but in single sideband it it demos really really well. This is the uh, three kilohertz filter. Now we go to the uh, wait, this is the uh, three kilo yeah three kilohertz filter. Anyway, let's go to FM see if FM does anything strange. Yeah, FM's gonna look weird too. And I think the I think the filtering in the FM is in the IF, not in the in the audio. So, uh, well, I'm good there both. But let's see if we go to filter three, seven kilohertz. Yeah, it's it's kind of a funny, funny business in the FM. Let's see, can I make this narrower? No, see, it's not going to let me. That, I can't even turn the knobs in FM mode. So it's kind of kind of a weird thing. But in CW, we definitely have. Uh, have the ability to do that. I can, I can shift it over. Yeah, very very cool.